So how me as a leader of this, if I'm the CEO, how do I how do I orchestrate that? How do I make sure that happens? How do I how can I be sure that my executive team is doing that? What sort of mm. how can that happen, do you think? Well, the first thing I think is it comes down to objectives. I talked to a CEO of a small semiconductor company. They had been making chips for 25 years. He'd been CEO the entire time. And they had just this amazing, consistent 40% growth rate every year for 25 years. And wow. I, uh, so I naturally, I was curious. I asked him, what was the secret? And the first thing he said was not fantastic technology or, you know, the smartest team in the mm -hmm. world or things that you might expect him to say. He said, my executive team shares 80% the same objectives. Yeah, there are a few things here and there on the edges, but 80%, the marketing person, the salesperson, the engineering, they all have the same set of objectives. So that forces yeah. alignment because we're, we're, yeah, really nice we've all got the go. same incentives. Yeah. And you're all going in the same direction, aren't you as well? You know, you're going because you're working towards the same goal. They're not separate goals or separate ideas or separate objectives that may at some level link together. They're very fundamentally right. the same things, which is a really nice way to do it. So it, in essence, it encourages them. It's the carrot way of doing it, isn't it really? If they're all working towards the same thing, there's an encouragement for there to work together rather than the potential what the other one, which is the stick, which is like, you guys have just got to align on this. You know, that kind of frustration that can often come. Yeah ends up being well what does that mean how do we do that and the reality is is if everything people have the same shared objectives that alignment can happen yeah that's a really nice straightforward way to look at it the other thing